Okay, so this video is going to be the answers for the questions uh, one of my very curious uh, student is asking, which is Alexandra, okay? So she is asking a lot of questions and I really love that because this is the way to improve your designs quickly and uh, and the students who ask a lot of questions, they are really, you know, they're interested in uh, doing something, okay? So the problem she is having is that uh, you can see on the right side, if you are using an artboard, the layer you start with are basically empty. Okay. So what does it mean is uh, you can see this icon over here. This has checkboards uh, over it and uh, uh, Alexandra uh, try to see over here, focus over here. Okay. So this is the answer she asked. Um, so now when you see these checkboards that means that this layer is empty okay so there is no color nothing on it okay so if i try to apply some layer style over it because it's empty the layer style is not going to show up okay so this is drop shadow in your case you have applied um i think color overlay on this oh sorry color overlay like that okay so uh, let's use this blue color for this example okay now uh, if i try to uh, fill this layer with some color okay so for that i am going to select this okay and uh, you can press ctrl delete or uh, command delete okay so like that you can see it filled this canvas with uh, the color i selected okay uh, so it is it is now filled with this black color but right now the color it is showing is from this color overlay okay so make sure if you are using a layer for um, uh, for uh, your grid okay so grid and guides or your vertical rhythm you need to fill this layer okay so if it is not filled you are going to uh, get an empty background over here so if you want to change the color you can change the color like that uh, okay, so the next question is that uh, your uh, vertical rhythm is not lining up. Okay, so uh, some of the portion of your uh, design, let me show you. Here it is. So this is happening because your layer size, this guides layer is ending over here. Okay, so I think you might have increased the size of your artboard and your this layer size is up to over here so it is not extending uh, beyond that this point so what we are going to do is so if you are in a situation like this for example i fill this layer with white and i am going to apply some let's see some uh, pattern overlay on it okay so you are basically using some pattern like this okay so let's move it above so something like that okay so now if i try to change the size of my artboard by selecting the artboard and let's change its height to something like uh, 1500 okay so you can see over here now the same problem is uh, having with me which is that i am my this layer size is not extending uh, till this end of this file okay so what i'm going to do is I'm going to take this guides layer. Let's name it guides and I'm going to press control T command T to resize it and shift and I'm going to drag it like that till the end. Okay. So this is how my, uh, I fix this problem. Okay. So whenever you resize your artboard, your layers are not going to automatically be sized according to that. Okay. So you need to, uh, change your guide size with this okay uh, one more thing that if your guides are not lining up you need to press this snap to origin okay once uh, if you think that it is not lining up this pattern is not lining up at the top over here okay so these are the two questions i think you asked one is that make sure that your layer is not empty it should be filled with something to uh, see the effect effect or patterns or any layer style effect you have okay otherwise if you hide the uh, color okay so it is not going to show up so keep in mind these two points that without any fill color okay so fill your layer with something before uh, you you know uh, apply some style on it okay so if you want to hide the color after that you can use this fill okay so you can 
make it to zero you can see over here now this white color is gone just i am viewing these pattern overlay lines over over my this uh, background okay so you can see over here let's change the color to something yellower so um so it looks a bit good okay something like this it's too sharp okay so you got the point this is the problem uh, i think you are having and uh, uh, this is how you fix it. Okay, you fill the layer with some color if you want to remove the color You go to this fill rather than you know, keep it empty and uh, applying effects on it. Okay So this is uh, all the problems you are having if you are having any more problems I am more than welcome to fix the problems and answer that I'm going to upload this video to YouTube and Going to send the link to all the students so they can watch and if they, ha they are having problems Okay, so one more problem you were having, uh, uh, Alexandra was having is that on these icons, these toolbar icons that have multiple options like this drop down, if you click once, the drop down is not selected. Okay, so if you click once, this toolbar is selected, and if you long press on it, you press and hold your mouse key, then you are going to view all the options hidden inside this drop down. Okay, so all these drop downs work with. A long press if you are having problem just long press uh, on these icons and you are going to view the other uh, options okay the other thing is that you can also cycle with them by pressing T and uh, shift T to the next one next one and next one so you can also cycle with keyboard shortcut but if you are uh, you are using mouse then you are going you need to long press on it like that okay so these are all the questions. I think you have got the answers. If you have any more questions, Alexandra or any of my students, uh, I am uh, here to answer them. Okay. So uh, see you soon in another video.